In ancient Greece, Socrates was widely lauded for his wisdom. One day, the great philosopher came upon an acquaintance who ran up to him excitedly and said, "Socrates, do you know what I just heard about one of your students?" "Wait a moment," Socrates replied. "Before you tell me, I would like you to pass a little test. It's called the test of 3." "Test of 3?" "That's correct." Socrates continued Before you talk to me about my student let's take a moment to test what you are going to say The first test is truth Have you made absolutely sure that what you are about to tell me is true No the man replied Actually I just heard about it All right said Socrates So you don't really know if it's true or not Now let's try the second test The test of goodness is what you are about to tell me about my student something good no on the contrary so socrates continued you want to tell me something bad about him even though you are not certain it's true the man shrugged a little embarrassed socrates continued you may still pass though because there is a third test the filter of usefulness Is what you want to tell me about my student going to be useful to me? No, not really, the man replied. Well, concluded Socrates, if what you want to tell me is neither true nor good nor even useful, why tell it to me at all? The man was defeated and ashamed and said no more. This is the reason Socrates was a great philosopher and held in such high esteem. My dear brothers and sisters, imagine applying this test to all our conversation. Most of what most of us say would not pass and we would lapse into silence. Silence could be good and useful. We backbite to appear comparatively higher by cutting others down. and we enjoy a moment of attention as others salivate over another person's destruction it is cheap glory which destroys our character whenever you come across such kind of person apply the same test of 3 hope you love this story thank you so much see you in the next video with a new inspiring story jai shri ram jai shri krishna